Welcome to WISIS Forum 2018. I'm delighted to be joined by the winning team of the hackathon. Hello, guys. Hi. And congratulations. Thank you. So tell me a bit more about who you are and your project. You're from Jamaica. Right. So we're all university students in Jamaica in our second year. Uh, three of us are computer science students and one is a medical student. So we heard about Hack Against Hunger in around January of this year. And in February, there was a regional stage in, in Kingston, Jamaica. So we entered that and we emerged the winners. So we were sponsored by the ITU to come to Geneva and participate in the global staging of the hackathon. And would you look at it, we're also the global winners we're very happy and honoured to be here. So the project is called Agro and it's a platform, isn't it? What can you tell me about it? Okay, so it's both a web and mobile platform geared towards improving food security and our app is an MVP and it starts and focuses on Jamaica right now, but it's totally scalable. So what it focuses on is improving the communication between the big players in the game and the little guys on the ground, the farmers. So the government can inform them more efficiently on what's actually going on, what they can plant, how to plant it, things to look out for such as diseases, pests, etc. And the farmers, on the other hand, can provide necessary information to the government that they currently don't have, you know, up-to-date information, what's actually going on in their field, you know, in real time, so to speak. So the government can use that information to be guided to make smarter and, you know, better decisions. So you were winners, obviously, but I'm sure it wasn't easy. So tell us about uh, the challenges maybe that you met during the hackathon and how you solved them. Okay, so um, it's first that we're ha actually hacking in a different country. So we had to figure out how to actually adapt to the new environment. Um, once we figured that out, it was pretty easy from there. Um, we had some other issues where coding was concerned, integration and stuff like that. But um, after figuring that out as well, it was smooth sailing to the finish line. Okay, so you, you sound like it was easy, really. <laughs> well, it was. It was at the end. At the end. Okay, and what's interesting about your, your team, I suppose, is the fact that it's, it's mixed, okay? We've got two girls, two boys. Uh, tell us about the, the dynamics within the team and how it worked. All right, so I think that just allowed the team to be more dynamic and it allows us to focus on different areas a little better. So um, the girls will focus on um, the, the, um, the written section and the boys focus on mainly the coding. So we had, um, we could like the work could be um, done a lot easier. We divided and yeah. conquered. Right. Okay. And obviously Agro is a sort of first try and a successful one, but do you have any more ideas about, you know, uh, solutions you could use, ICT solutions you could use to solve uh, pressing problems like hunger, for instance? Well, um, one of the advantages of this hackathon was um, actually getting, gaining the opportunity to meet team members that had experiences in different areas. So we actually met a Chinese team, I think. Uh, they proposed to us um, the opportunity to use a software that they currently have existing. It's actually using satellites to gain imagery and stuff like that. Now, we see where that could be implemented in agro to actually improve um, the current application. So that's, that's, that's an advantage of this hackathon as well. Okay, fantastic. Well, guys, thank you very much. And once again, congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much.